things have changed. I want to hear from you this morning. As the lockdown eases, as things go back to normal, as pavements widen, as we talked about yesterday, as we are all going to be probably wearing masks as we are out more, what will you continue doing differently? 08000 855 949. What will you continue doing differently? Let's start with Rob in Cainsham. Hi, Rob. Good morning. How are you? Very well, thanks, John. How are you? I'm good, thank you very much indeed. Um, now, uh, we've spoken before. Tell me, tell me, yeah. tell everybody else, the other listener, what what you, you do. Well, I mean, um, my, my day job's actually working for uh, the government, and uh, I'm actually in a civil service role, and um, I'm also a dad of twins, and uh, twins juggling childcare and um, work. It's been hugely pressurised, obviously, during the lockdown period. Um, outside of work and childcare, I'm also a yoga teacher. And so one of the things I wanted to do during the lockdown was offer something out to uh, people, um, just small amounts of time, small amount of time that I had in my day to enable people to prioritise their health and wellbeing with me. And of course, I would imagine your first reaction when we all uh, hit lockdown, we all hit the restrictions on the 23rd of March is, blimey, how am I going to be able to teach yoga? Because I, I need yeah. a room and I need a mat and, exactly. and everyone needs to be in the room with their exactly. mats and doing their downward dogs. And of course, yeah. that's not the case, is it? No, no, no. And that's the thing. I think that, you know, I've, I've been a long fan, actually, of doing online yoga classes. To be honest, a lot of the time it was early in the morning before the boys woke up that I was able to do it. Um, but for a lot of other yoga teachers, yoga studios, that kind of thing, um, you know, it's a big transition for them. And even for me, I think, you know, not being able to kind of go face to face, as you say, and kind of meet people and, and share that space together, I think was really, really tough for me, particularly as I knew that my, you know, my male students, I've got a yoga for men class that I run in Canesham, uh, really benefited from the, you know, the experience and the time that we had together. And knowing that maybe, you know, they needed that time as well as me, yeah. I think kind of drove me forward to kind of set something up on, uh, on Facebook. It's an interesting one, isn't it? But because by the very virtue of, of going to a class, a yoga class or to a gym, mm. you are actually taking time for yourself and doing something for yourself. Yeah. Whereas perhaps at home, that may be difficult if everything else was as it was. But, of course, it yeah. isn't, is it? Um, no, that's it. We're, uh, we're at home more, and yeah. maybe the, the balancing act, uh, uh, and I'm guilty of this, I think a lot of people are guilty of this, is that you have to stop at home yeah. Um, yeah. And, and stop working and stop reading and stop yeah. you know, doing all the things because you then have to go, right, I'm home now, so I need yeah. to be doing home stuff, not work stuff. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, the lines are very blurred, aren't they, between yeah, your home and work lives at the moment. And so because of that, then it means that actually finding that space in your day, and I certainly found it, for those first few weeks, it just felt like the whole world was up, turned upside down as it, as it was for, for many people. Yeah. And it was only really when it got to Mental Health Awareness Week a few weeks ago and its theme of kindness, I just thought, hang on a minute, I was Sunday night kind of sitting, <laughs> sitting downstairs recovering from a, a day of childcare and, mm. uh, and suddenly thought, well, maybe I should offer something out on Facebook Live. So on that Monday of Mental Health Awareness Week, I just got online at 8.30 in the morning, sat in my boy's bedroom on my uh, Yoga Dad uh, Facebook page and just offered like a 15-minute morning stretch. And it kind of evolved from there. And over the last three weeks, I've now been running those 15-minute sessions every weekday. It's a really nice way for me to start the day, but also for other people to start the day in the right way too. And they're all recorded, so they're the kind of things that people can access any time okay. if they're not able to join me live. Um, and I'm hoping to kind of continue that going forward, maybe on a less frequent basis because it's pretty intensive doing this every day. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but I'm really enjoying it. And have you found people joining you and doing it who perhaps wouldn't have oh, gone God, to yeah. a class because i mean that, that's the other side of this isn't it is that you yeah. know men doing yoga well you know yeah, you, yeah. if you do it you get it if you don't do it yeah. you might want to get it but you don't want to walk in a room yeah. and look like a burke because you don't know what to wear um, <laughs> yeah. uh, and of course you've got perhaps some people who don't feel comfortable being in a room full of yeah, other people it. Without a doubt. And actually, one of my, so I, as I say, I work for a Department of Environment. Um, I was running sessions during Mental Health Awareness Week for them as well. And actually, one of my work colleagues um, contacted me earlier in, the, earlier in the week and said that, you know, she's, um, 
just like of a you know a, a size that you I suppose wouldn't uh, typically associate with um, um, you know a yoga a yoga student mm-hmm. and so being being you know a bigger lady I think that she found it very really difficult where she was located finding the class that worked for her and in fact a lot of the time she faced some real negative um, reactions from the yoga teachers almost telling her that you know yoga really wasn't for her and she'd just go elsewhere and actually through those wow. fifteen minute sessions with me. She said it's inspired her to give it another go. And the great thing is there's actually a yoga teacher in Bristol, um, um, a lady that runs Curvy Girl Yoga, exactly for her type of, uh, you know, someone that associates with a woman and uh, size 16 and above, perfect for her. I've recommended she kind of goes on to her. And I think it's it's fantastic, actually, through these kind of virtual networks so, that you can join people together. So here we, here we have two examples then. Uh, and, and things have changed. For, 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 for most of us, we have, we have had to change. And it's about keeping some of these changes and saying, do you know what, I rather like this. Um, so yeah. for you, you are doing online classes and helping people more than you were doing before. And for yeah. that lady, yeah. she has now found a way of doing yoga that if yeah. this whole ghastly situation that we find ourselves in hadn't happened, she would never yeah. have done. No, definitely. And I think that's the thing. I think it's, you know, for, for me, just having her reaction to me running these 15-minute sessions this last three weeks, it just made everything. Okay. You know, all those early starts and planning and delivering these classes and things like that. And it's it's great to see that, as I said, you can kind of connect to people through a virtual space and still really share that kind of opportunity and inspiration and motivation okay. to, to look after yourself. Rob, take care of yourself. Thank you very no, much for no, joining no, me this John. morning.